our lock pick because Nick Assassin is really good against um, magic heroes, really good against Puck. Once na mag um, yun nga, mag uh, tawag dito yung illusory orb etong si Puck with his carapace, you could easily um, dodge yun or pwede niya disable yun right away. Good mana. Um, Mana burn vendetta then provide so much pick off and also vision para sa side ng planet odd and also warlock really good hero good counter initiation and also initiation at the same time. So as you know man, you know we saw the same uh, we saw the game one comparing per kung ano naging performance dito ng crystal maiden and puck so tignan natin kung ano naman balak nila with this game do are they are they gonna go for the same strat or are they gonna mix it up a little bit with a razor? Or with a storm spirit, or with a live stealer in fest bomb, EG or they could even go Venomancer. So yun, there's a lot of stuff that EG has in their backpack kung maga para sa tournament nato. But I keep paranoia. 3 a.m. ish, 3 a.m. na ish. Tulog na tayo. Yo, I know, grabe. Pero sure, since bakasyon sayang off kuya. Ayan, kailangan pa natin ikas and siyempre subaybayan nitong lahaba ng EG versus Planet Odd. Of course, Epicenter and also in Clutch Gamers natin that also performing and also um, kasali dito sa tournament na ito. Mamaya meron silang laban against Planet Odd din after yon ng second series natin which is OG versus Team Liquid. So isa pa yun, second series natin guys. Abangan nyo, napagan ng bakbakan yun. Pero mukhang Planet Odd will be banning Life Stealers. Ito nang ang Draw Rangers. Aside naman ng EG ang ban nila. Itong si Klinx. And then si Lone Druid and EG will be going for Clockwork. Isa to sa mga, kung mga really good meta. I mean, hero sa meta ngayon or sa patch ngayon, you know. Um, he rotates. Um, they could even pair it up with a Shadow Fiend. Who knows, di ba? Pwede rin. Um... Ayun nga, Clockwork, he only needs level, he could be really efficient sa mapa, and also, Planet Odd need to invest for a 4-stop dahil nga dito sa kags nitong um, si Clockwork. So ayan, hinihintay pa natin yung third pick dito ng Planet Odd. Pero looking at EG, they still want to fight. Kung maka early to mid game pa rin, ang balak nila dito sa engagement na to. Planet Odd naman, they, have, they still have the heroes. To come back para magsabay sa mga hero ng EG, they have Nick Assassin and Warlock. Pero one thing is for sure, hindi pa nila binibigay ito ng kanilang draft. Um, kung maga they could even go for ito ng um Invoker, Nick Assassin, Wombo Combo. You know, Vendetta to Stun, to Sun Strike, maganda rin yon. They it could cripple or do a lot of damage. Pero um, that's um I think Invoker is okay in some games. Pero looking at EG, it's really hard. Um, picking an invoker against EG because invoker needs farm, he needs space. Well, once you don't give that space to invoker, he's just gonna get punished so much. This is a EG strat, which is they're always pushing, they're always looking for team fights and pickoffs. Yo, Rug, is she sub? Is she sub? Na aalis ako bukas ha. Yo, yo, Rug, thank you, thank you, nga pa na sa pag chill or pag hangout dito. Ah, maraming salamat sa lahat ng support. I didn't see. Uh, I haven't checked yet yung, um, if you subscribe or not. Pero, what, oh, ito pala nag-subscribe ka na ko. Yo, Ten seconds, really? I'll give your perks or your points. I think automatic na yun. Once you nag-subscribe sa channel ko, you, you'll already get 1k points dun sa aking channel. Para yun. Kuya, maraming maraming salamat sa pag-supporta and pag-tambay mo dito sa Wombo X Combo. Kahit hindi ako online, you're still here. I appreciate all the love and support. Pero ito, Planet Odd will be going ahead for an Earth Spirit. So mukhang ito, offlane na nga itong si Nyx Assassin. So ito, I mean, they need a roaming hero. And Earth Spirit is a perfect fit for it. Um, even though na sobrang ni nerf na siya dito ni uh, Gaben. Um, still a pretty good hero. He has initiation, he has silence, um, he has magic damage, and whatnot. Also stun din, di ba? So, ayan, hinihintay natin dito sa EG kung anong ipipick nila. Are they gonna go for a Shadow Fiend pick? Are they gonna run itong, um, tawag dito, Soul Cogs deny, di ba? Yung usually ginagawa ng mga teams, which is, um, they're trying to get 18 souls right away, um, from denying itong Cogs nga. Basta dilat, ma... Basta dilat pa mata ko. Nood lang ako. <laughs> Yo, of course, salamat, salamat, girl. Maraming, maraming salamat. Pero, ayan na. Um, ito double check ko lang mamaya sa channel ko. I might have a battle pass giveaway na. 
uh, I might have a battle pass giveaway. So next time na mag online ako, I might do a battle pass giveaway. Make sure na naka follow kayo sa channel ko. Make sure that you guys are following me on Facebook. That is facebook.com slash easypeasy para malaman nyo kung kailan ako mag online and when I'll be doing the giveaway. Make sure na, yun nga, kapag naka follow kayo, you'll be earning points, more ticket, more points, more chance that you guys can win doon sa giveaway natin. But yeah. So, EG once again picking Venomancer. So, ito, they are committing heavy um, team fight and also magic damage dito nga sa hero ni RTZ with Venomancer. Tignan natin kung ano magiging hero dito ni Sumail, guys. Yo, John, what's up? Ate Ishi, what up? Ngayon lang ulit nakapanood sa'yo. Nasa hospital po. Uy, kuya, ano nangyari sa'yo? Are you okay? I hope everything is okay on your side. Pero I appreciate na nandito ka pa rin kahit anong mangyari. Kahit hindi na ate Ishi ba sa'yo. Nax naman pala si um, Skippy Doll. Ayan, shout out sa'yo. Uh, Ishi, anong ikakas ni Kuya Nick? Um, I, I'm not 100% sure. Pero I'm guessing yung laban ng Clutch Gamers. Since um, that is our ikumaga, finale. Yung Filipino team natin. I mean, double check ko kung ano yung ninagay dito ni Kuya Alo. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me just double check real quick. Dito sa dito natin. Yeah, si Kuya Nick nga ang, ang um, magkakas ng Planet Odds natin. Unless, at, at, unless they changed it, so ayun. Pero from the thing that they sent me, mukhang si Kuya Nick ang maglalaban ng Clash Gamers. I mean, magkakas ng Clash Gamers. Lalaban sa Clash Gamers. <laughs> Imagine. It will be an easy game, right? Para sa Clutch Gamer, siyempre. So, ito guys, Planet Odd will be fourth picking itong si Anti-Mage. And ito na nga, EG, sila na nag-ban dito ng Storm Spirit. So, napaka ng pick to sa Planet Odds. Dahil, um, yun nga, EG gonna pull up a uh, Storm Spirit pick. And also, maganda rin to against Puck, against Venomancer. Venomancer. Venomancer, you know, securing or killing their mana. And meron din silang Nexus Assassin, pretty good hero. Paano mag-earn ng credit once eh, parang pareho din sa one box combo every minute that you every minute that you are watching my channel live automatic nagkakaroon kayo ng points doon pero syempre offline ako kaya eagers na once once na mag-online ako bukas make sure na naka-tune in kayo kasi hindi ko naman i-draw yung giveaway until like in the end of my stream diba pero yeah just letting you guys know 10 seconds remaining Oh, shout out Ishi from Italy. Um, Bologna Raging Tomato. Ayan. Shout out sa'yo, Kuya. What's up, what's up? From Italia pala. Uy. Italiano. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Pero, ito, Planet Odd will be picking Queen of Pain. Siyempre, you need a fighting hero. You need a hero that creates space para dito kay Anti-Mage. So, ito na. Tignan natin how is EG gonna respond with this um, pick. I mean, they have heroes to... I'm um, handle ito naman Queen of Pain. They have buy from Crystal Maiden. They have Pug Silence. Pero syempre, kailangan pa rin ng Blink Dagger dito ni Universe. Or ni Sumail. Tignan natin kung anong hero niya. Pero, kumbaga, sa Queen of Pain versus Pug matchup, syempre, pinapabu- ang um, alam natin mananalo dito is si Pug. Just because itong um, face ship niya. And yun nga, he could easily in and out. Pero mukhang it will be a Universe hero again itong Pug and um, Templar Assassin ang magiging hero dito ni Sumail. So, ito na guys. Kompeto na ang game to natin. Once again, Ishi nga pala, your caster for today. Um, tournament natin for um, sa ngayon is Moscow Season 2. Um, this is Group B ng uh, tournament. And it will be Planet Odd going against EG. This is Game 2. Best of 3 guys. 1-0 na lamang ang EG. Pa-shoutout sa GF ko na nag- nag-Instagram. Christine Reyes. Like Instagram, Christine Reyes. Yo, shout out to you, Christine Reyes from Ad Dice Seven. Ayan. Si Chris, di ba yun yung artista? Baka iba yan, ha? Yo, from Malaysia. Hi naman dyan. Yo, shout out sa mga Malaysian dyan, guys. What up, what up? From Issue With Love. Como estas? Como estas? Anong side yung EG? Yo, I'm not 100% sure. Type nyo na lang exclamation point contest and makikita nyo yung i-click nyo yung link doon and you will see which one is A and which one is B. Yo, Nick Knox! What's up, guys? What's up, what's up? 
You'll sail men's. What's up sa'yo? Kumustas? Kumustas? Pero ito na guys, simula na yung game of 2 natin and paklara natin, line up natin really quick sa side ng EG guys. So male will be playing Templar Assassin, RTZ naman on Venomancer, um, Universe on Puck, Zai naman on Clockwork, and Crit on Crystal Maiden. Sa side naman ng Planet Odd guys, it will be Misery on Earth Spirit, Saksa on Warlock, Resolution on Anti-Mage, and We on Queen of Pain. Moon Meander naman on your next assassin. So, um, looking at heroes, who am I favoring? Um, one thing is for sure, malakas yung late game. Um, hindi naman sobrang lakas, but you know, maganda rin yung late game dito ng Planet Odd just because they had Crystal Maiden, they have Warlock, and also Nyx Assassin. Pretty good heroes, aside naman ng EG. Um, they, I guess they have Templar Assassin. Well, Templar Assassin is also decent here late game, pero kumbaga, eh, um, if this goes late game, I might have to go or give it to Planet Odd. Pero yung if EG continues dominating itong early to mid game natin as usual, na lagi nilang ginagawa, I might give it to EG um, for this game. Pero mo kana kay smoke dito yung Planet Odd and champion na ispata nila that side did went in and ito nga roll in na pero hindi tatama dito kay Clockwork just colors kalungkutan misery barely connecting. Ito. <laughs> This colored, nakakatrash to ko na. Pero syempre, hindi nila alam yan. Hindi nila naririg yan. Tayo lang nakakaalam yan. Since naka-ally chat naman yun. Um, KJ Bernard, 29. Pa-shoutout ako. Yo, what's up sa'yo? Kumustas? Kumustas? TA Sumail GG na pa-shoutout from Jam. Pero wait lang, si Zai still ng Grunge to Jungle. Finally, magkoconnect na yung um, boulders, I mean, yung roll-in niya. Pero unfortunately, wala siyang follow-up damage. And Clockwork does have boots. So he should be able to get out of that engagement. Una na mi, Ma'am Ishi. Yo, Rog, have a great one. Yo, maraming maraming salamat ulit. So, ito, um, looking at a matchup natin, guys. Wait lang, isin ko lang to. Ayan, looking at matchup natin, it will be Clockwork Puck going against dito kay Warlock and also kay Hanty May. Siya magiging 2-1-2 na naman ang lineup dito ng EG. Sa gitna natin, it will be Templar Assassin going against Queen of Pain. And nandito rin itong Hero ni Misery, which is itong si Earth Spirit. Sa bottom lane natin, it will be Crystal Maiden Venomancer going against dito kay Nyx Assassin. So, ito na. Pero yung roll-in, of course, since merong Observer Wards, dito si, Art, um, si Sumail sa gitna. Nais pata niya yung pag-initiate doon ni Misery. Pero, of course, na-divide, na-divide yan right away dito na yung um, Uwiha. Kung maga, kung tinanggo niya itong Observer Wards ng EG. Nicely done the side ng Misery, recognizing that there is a defensive war para kay Sumail sa gitna. And, syempre, sobrang advantage niya yan para kay Queen of Pain. Kasi meron siyang extra vision and nawalan pa ng vision itong um, si Sumail. Sa gitna. Oop! Yung courier! Diyos ko, Lord! <laughs> Kala ko susugod yung courier. Um, Odd Thunderbird. Yes! Kevin Ariola. Pero sa top lane, si Saksa binigay sa maganda calls. And Rizzoli all trying to get ahead. Pero Saksa makukuha ng first blood doon. Universe and Resolution. Very secure na kill dito kay Zai. Yung kill will not be securing. A kill naman kay um, Clockwork. Pero of course, first blood. That's your roll in. We'll connect finally dito kay Sumail. And a couple more right click. The damage. Sumail so trying to tank it up. Maabot ba? Pero, oh, na blink in. He might have went over aggressive here. And not nicely pop with with the salve, juice colors, Sumail barely surviving due to the damage ni Weeha, and also Weeha barely, barely surviving naman sa damage doon ng tier 1 tower. Ay, 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 napagalang engagement naman from magandang pinapakita ng both teams natin only 2 minutes into our game. Bakit nagpalit ng pangalan yung Thunderbirds? Just because, kuya, um, since nawala sila sila sa DC and they have to compete um, for Kiev, um, they have to come up with a name. Siyempre, kailangan nilang mag-register or they have to replace it. So they came up with Thunderbirds. Ngayon, since meron na silang sponsor, they have to change it again. Siyempre, sa gusto ng sponsor. And the sponsor gave them Planet Odd. So there you go. That's where, kaya nagbago na naman yung pangalan na Thunderbirds. But in the middle matchup, natin, it will be 8 and 8 and dito kay Weeha compared to 6 and 3 dito ni Templar Assassin. So, hindi naman nakakala yung CS na yun. Pero one thing is for sure, is so, sobrang dami nang deny dito ni Queen of Pain. And that is also his gaming. Kung baga, mas maram siya na kuwang experience and also na de deny niya yung damage from Templar Assassin. 
sa top lane naman talaga nagbibigay ng pressure itong um, dual lane. Ito na nga, nag-rotate na nga rin si Misery sa taas since talaga nabibigyan na ng sobrang laking pressure yung lane ni Anti-Mage or ni Resolution. So ito si Zai, mukhang naispatan niya na yung location dito ni Misery trying to harass him a little bit. Alam niya na walang um, boots of speed itong si Earth Spirit dahil but still, he has that slow. Sa bottom lane naman natin si Nyx Assassin had to go back into the base. And also sa trade-off na yun, lumahalamang dun si Artizio. He has 18 and 7 and then si Nyx Assassin with a 9 and 1. Um, comparing naman siya kay, um, kay Universe, mukhang okay din naman. Dahil di naman sila kakalayo sa CS and also sa experience. Pero yun nga, ang difference is nagahati sa experience in universe and then itong si Clockwork. So medyo mabe behind lang ng konti ng level. Dito si um, Puck compared kay Nyx Assassin. Saka yun nga, mahirap nga, mahirap nga din naman isecure yung kill doon dito kay... Um, Kay Nyx Assassin just because he has yung carapace and also yung stun. Once na magamit na ni Crystal Maiden yung bite niya, he could easily TP out of the damage dito sa ED sa bottom lane. Pero sa top lane mukhang nagkakabigayan and finally masasigurin nila din yung kill doon kay Puck and now Zizai is in trouble. He would try to TP out and easily get back to base pero one thing is for sure medyo maganda yung nakuha nilang kill doon since nasecure nila itong hero nga ni universe which is yung pack so madedelay yung levels and also farm nitong um, hero nga ni universe Ayan, almost 5 minutes into the game and talagang yung in kita nyo guys all eyes is in the middle lane kita nyo guys yung 1v1 mashup dito ni Sumail and also ni Weha hindi na sila kumbaga hindi na nila ginagalaw ng both teams yung uh, middle lane just because um kailangan nilang isecure din yung mga farm ng ibang lane I mean RTC is getting a pretty good farm dito sa bottom lane and also Crystal Maiden is getting a decent farm just because nagja-jungle agad siya Pero eto, si RTC trying to pull it up a little bit Pero sa middle matchup, hindi pa rin nakakalayo Pero umaangat na pala dito si Templar Assassin He currently has 30 and 9 compared sa 13 and 9 dito Pero sa top lane, dinabay na ng sobra dito ng evil geniuses Itong Planet OD and OD, OD tuloy, OD And nakakuha nga nila doon si Saxa on Warlock So ayan na Pero alam nila that there is already three heroes sa side ng age sa taas. So now, eto na. Planet Odd is rotating in the bottom lane and possibly transitioning para sa kill dito kay Venomancer. Nag-deepin na rin sa Warlock dito sa bottom lane. And finally, nila right-click na Venomous Gale connecting only to Warlock. And eto na. Nicely stunned to Boulder Smash and RTC. Barely surviving that silence. I don't think he will survive dito sa damage ng Dire. And finally, makakasecure sila ng isang sobrang gandang kill dito sa bottom lane. And and one meander, another with a cry baby. Kung mga parang baby rage, ayun. And ito, napagandang cogs to battery assault. Pero syempre, merong shrine ito ang planet on. So he will be a-okay. Sa mid lane natin, guys, talagang sobrang init ng bakbakan, Diyos ko, Lurds. Kung mga, huwag kayong sasaw-saw sa akin to. <laughs> ayun. Gito nyo yan, like, Kanina pa, kanina pa, kanina nag-rotate sa Earth Spirit Pero this time, nobody is touching the middle lane Yung 1v1 ma siya Pero eto, napaka ng sipa Kanin from Misery And he tried to roll out a wave dito kay Zai And kito nyo guys kung paano sinisigan ni Zai Yung mga heroes dito ng Planet Art And 7 minutes into the game And looking at that word natin Lamang pa rin dito si Resolution with almost 3k And susunod naman itong hero ni RTZ with 26 since na-secure nga ng kill ng um, Dire doon sa bottom lane kaya napagad ang rotation coming from Planet Odds sa top lane naman muntik na ma-secure ng kill dito si Universe and also si Crit kay um, Anti-Mage unfortunately nga na napag-blink out pa yung kuya mo and napagad ang investment for this infused raindrop coming from Resolution kasi just because of that na-reduce niya yung damage and he did survive doon nga sa um, gank and um, possible kill na nagawa ng EG kanina. Pero si um, si, um, si RTG trabaho pa rin dito sa Tier 1 Tower sa baba ng Planet Odd and Queen of Pain. 
Um, usually, nakikita na si, Tri- si Queen of Pain nagro-rotate sa mapa natin. He's trying to, you know, create chaos. Pero syempre, ayaw niyang iwan itong lane nga ni Sumail. Kasi kapag iniwan mo si Temper Assassin sa gitna, automatic mawawala agad yung Tier 1 tower mo. And the Temper Assassin, when you get that Tier 1 tower, that is your objective. And ayun na, panahon na sa'yo para mag-farm dito sa Ancient and also sa Jungle. Venomous Gill, ito na Zai coming from the side turn Nakabinda dito si Moon Leander Pero Saksa will not be living Dito sa damage ng EG Napaga ng rotation coming from Clockwork Nakabinda pa rin dito si Moon Leander But he needs someone to follow him up Not enough yung damage dito Pero ito nag-TP na nga Itong si Earth Spirit And napaga ng Vendetta to the stun And hard to see Diving heavily popping his ultimate And meron pa bang hook dito si Zai Wala pang hook Pero Misery taking so much damage Napaga ng placement naman With that ward up Of course, it's just a lot of sticks to Moon Meander, so he will be A-OK, but it's just a lot of damage here from Warlock, this Earth Spirit. But that's it. I guess um, it's still in favor of Planet Odd because they secured this position 1 of Evil Geniuses, which is this Venom Man. So, so yeah, 9 minutes into the game, and we have to still not doing anything or putting pressures aside ng EG. Palagang na-contain siya sa gitna dito ng EG like their 1v1 matchup against Mail. It's just so good. Kito mo naman si camera man natin. It's not focusing as much dito sa, um, sa side ng EG. But I feel like Queen of Pain should be rotating and instead punishing yung ibang heroes ng EG. Because what? Look. Um, RTZ is putting so much pressure sa tier 1 towers above pero napaka ng bind and do- double no, actually si Zai ng brother naman pero yung 2 man dream cold and it's like is already here nakakana pa siya but it looks like Zai will also fall down taking 1 for 1 ng palito and speaking of Wea nandito na si Wea sa engagement on the top lane na buy pa siya ni Creed before he falls down pero looks like Resolution will be securing a double kill doon sa engagement sa top jungle sa bottom lane naman si RTZ will be taking that kill at dito kay Warlock so even though that something is happening dito sa top lane ng One at odd, CRTZ naman is securing a kill sa bottom lane and also pulling pressure tier 1 tower. Pero mukhang si Weeha might be in trouble. Napaka ng silent, makapag-pulling out pa. Nicely done. This With this wombo ko mukha universe, he will try to TP out. And another kill secured dito sa mid lane plus a tier 1 tower. There's just way too much happening dito sa buong side ng um, planet odd for them to handle or to respond. I mean... One good thing that is happening to Side Nandar is Resolution is still farming, free farming in the top lane. Wala pa siyang kill. He is three and zero, and he is just two items away from his battle fury. Looking at towers, the man so EG on a secure na tier one tower, which is a bottom lane, and eto nang Simon Meander will be. Taking some chicken home, not just to go itong um, courier ng EG. Ayan. So, si Queen of Pain, eto, kita mo, even though that he went a low-key dito sa bottom lane, he had to go back to middle just because the lane is pushing. Um, yun nga, hindi niya, ka, hindi niya maiwan talaga itong gitna ng tower just because Templar Assassin will be securing itong tier 1 tower sa gitna. And they just, they just couldn't handle itong, itong ward, the RTZ on Venom Mancer. Look at this. Only Earth Spirit is defending yung tier 2 tower sa baba and Queen of Pain has to defend yung tier 1 tower sa gitna because if you um take or let EG take itong tier 1 tower sa gitna that opens so much itong jungle ng planet odd pero I guess resolution is still free farming at dito sa uh, mapa natin and he will have to TP out in the bottom lane and uh, looking at EG since na ispata nila that resolution is already out dito sa top lane and nakakuha na rin pala nila yung tier 2 tower sa baba so ito na RTZ moving into the top lane and finally or trying to take itong towers naman sa taas ng EG um, so far Planet Odd not securing any towers I mean they are putting um, score sa kanilang scoreboard pero they're not taking objectives sa gitna nga naman speaking of kills napagal ang hook from Zai pero yung chaotic offering do, did so much damage dito kay um, kay Temper Assassin so they did secure that kill again 2 for na ng palitong dream call dito kay um, Pot pero unfortunately so parang lahalin matama pero merong follow up coming from Misery and Universe taking the dash ginamit na itong magnetize niya pero syempre may orb out pa rin itong si Universe on Pot and with that they secured 2 heroes and possibly a tier 1 tower pero kito nyo naman guys RTZ on the top right still pushing but hopefully with this resolution they could get more out of it. Makakuha pa rin silang tier 1 towers sa baba. 
pero I like this what is happening aside ng planet all um because they are grouping up they um they uh, they're putting pressure aside ng mapa ng EG and finally they put down sa um aggression or sa farm dito ni Sumail on Temper Assassin So ito na, sila na yung nag-group up and Zai is in the bottom lane. Moon Meander trying to scout. Alam nila nandito nga si Clockwork. And ito na yung Cog and to blink in coming from Weha. And Zai will be giving away a free kill. I think he didn't get the memo na hindi na na-defend yung tier 1 tower. And instead, we're gonna trade it off with a tier 2 tower. So ito, they have a fortification trying to delay yung pagkuha nila dun sa tier 1 tower Pero EG is pressuring tier 1 tower sa baba And also na-secure na rin ni RTZ Itong tier 2 tower sa taas naman Nang, um, nang dire So ito, sa gitna, secret with a casual frost by Blinken from Sumail Biligyan na rin yung, um, Sionic Trap and easy peasy kill for Universe So yan, 14 minutes into the game in resolution Patuli pa rin sa kanyang pagpa-farm and mukhang Dyer is already rotating dito sa mid lane trying to defend yung um, nag-iisa nilang outer tower kumbaga sa gitna Pero si RTZ, kita nyo naman patuli pa rin sa paglagay ng Superman Finally Resolution with his um, Battle Fury So mas lapabilis na yung pag-farm niya and pag-clear ng waves um, EG, I don't think they have a sentry ward, so I think libre ng libre pareng si mo. Oh, tapaga ng hook dito and follow up start to silence. Bonus mas only hit. Easy pero yung damage was there para masigurad nila. Eto si Queen of Pain Misery do. He's a little bit in trouble using his magnifies, pero yung um tapag dito on the backside yung damage coming from Warlock. Eto ng um Shadow Word plus eto fatal bonds did so much and dito kay Zai and they did get that kill so they will not be securing it on tier two towers again na and instead they will back off and ito nga um si resolution not back on the end dito sa bottom lane since nakita niya that everybody on the side of EG is rotating or TPing outside dito sa mid lane so yun 15 minutes into the game guys quick item check lang tayo so sa side ng EG guys to mail with um threads and blink dagger bottle Ayan, and going for his Desolator next. Meron siyang Mithril Hammer sa kanyang um, courier or sa stash. Si EG, um, si EG. Si RTZ naman meron siyang Threads, Shadow Blade, and Veil, Aquila. Si Universe naman meron siyang Blink Dagger, Threads. Si Zai naman meron siyang. Pero sa so wait lang sa mid lane, nabigyan ng Dream Core. Pero walang vision dito si Universe. And alam niya that Queen of Pain is also in the perimeter. Kaya mag-out muna siya for now. So, si Zai, meron na siyang Tranquil Boots earn nga. Ayan, meron siya siya. The secret naman, meron siyang Tranquil Boots and Global Face. Possibly going for Hand of My Dust. Si, um, um, si Zai naman ang Planet Odd Misery with the Tranquil Boots. Staff of Wizardry, possibly going for four staff. Si Saxa naman, pero si RTV, what are you doing on the middle lane? And easy peasy kill dito sa side ng Planet Odd. And of course, with RTV down, of course, Baby Cry na naman. Or Cry Baby. So ito, um, di na naman natin natapos yung item check natin. Tapos yun natin. Si Saxa, meron siyang Arcane Boots. Si Resolution, meron siyang Threads, Battle Fury. And going for um, Yasha next or Manta Style. Si Weeha naman, meron siyang Threads, Veil. Si Moon naman, meron siyang Hand of Midas and Arcane Boots. So yan, 9 ang score natin dito and Planet Odd will be securing our first 10 kills. Um, looking at team, looking at net worth naman, ayan, lamang lang yung EG by 1k which is really good. Kita nyo naman guys, even though na almost wala lang power itong Planet Odds, um, mara, lamang pa rin, o oh, hindi sila nagkakalayo sa net worth dito sa EG. Pero si Crit might be a little bit in trouble. Pero tignan natin, will that be enough para masecure niya dito yung kill kay Crystal Maiden? Tignan natin, he's still lingering around. He still have a couple of times. Ayan, a couple more right clicks. Oh, bibigay na ba? I think he's just following him around. And nakita niya nandito na kasi Universe is still, is this still a go-to kill? Pero mukhang mag-back out muna. Oh, Universe though, blinking. Dito sa may side ni Moon Meander, pero wala siyang vision. Kung baga, medyo kinabahan lang na konti dito si Moon Meander. Pero 17 minutes into the game and looking at vision,
ang defensive ward ng EG sa side nila sa jungle and also one actually ginagawa ko din tong pag black na to sa my um a bottom dire jungle naman they have one there and that's it sa side naman ng um, planet odd they have two or actually it's a two or three observer wards sa kanilang dire jungle para syempre secure nila itong um vision nila for ito nga para kay resolution Yes, Planet Odd sila, Weeha and Resolution sila yung dating DC na naging Thunderbirds and ngayon sila na ay Planet Odds. So yan, habang busy-busy kayo, mag-bet or mag-check ng Wombo points nyo or credits. Um, ito nakasmoke na ang Planet Odd and they might secure kill it. They know that universe is around. Ito na kasi Moon Manor spotting. Binigay na yung napagandang stun and follow-up silence. The boulder smash and shampre mao kuan nila yung kill don kai pak securing 330 gold kan na pagan ng hook to ultimate kan from RT ni Saxa will still use or eto kanya chaotic offering too much that Zai might be a little bit in trouble pero si Zai might be cornered pero eto parin patuli parin ng planet odds sa pag secure ng kills pero mo kang mag back out mo na si Moon Manor another way nila to follow up sa boulder smash would connect to follow up silence and that mana burn security kill dito kay Templar Assassin and Resolution though well that is happening he is split pushing dito sa bottom lane ng evil geniuses napagandang engagement naman so with that team fight naging 2 for 2 ang palit doon pero syempre lamang pa rin ang planet odd just because they secured a kill dito kay Templar Assassin and also kay Zai Then looking at that fight recap, naka secure siya ng 671 gold and 2100 naman in terms of experience. Mukang pumapabor na kayo ay sabi si Nijun guys eh like EG they they're always really good on the early to mid game fight but this time though sobrang gan I really like these four picks coming from the dire dahil because of this Queen of Pain next assassin and dami nilang ginagawa and nakapag nakapag chaotic offering pa dito si Saxa into the last minute bago dahil it is damage over time dito kay Venomancer hindi siya na burst agad and nakapag pop siya ng ultimate but since alam ng EG na wala silang chaotic offering they will be securing itong Aegis of Immortal and alam ng Planet Odds yan so instead they are now pressuring yung tier 3 tower naman sa baba ng EG Ito na, RTZ popping his um, Shadow Blade and wala siyang ultimate for now. Trying to do some regulars and also Moon Meander is around to back him up just in case something funky happens. But of course, must secure or easy Roshan ito para sa EG. So grabe yung um, mana burn dito. Ni Nyx Assassin, kita niya naman yes. Pulling RTZ to almost half health and also um, to low mana. Resolution, patuloy pa rin sa kanyang pagpa-farm, guys. This is one thing a little bit scary sa side ng EG. Is hindi pa nila na siya shut down itong hero ni Resolution. Which is itong si Anti-Mage. Kito nyo, he is 12k into our net worth. And once he get his Amanta style, mas lalaki pa itong kanyang pagpa-farm. Pero si RMTZ alone again in the bottom lane. And makakasecure na naman ng easy, easy kill etong si um, Resolution naman at this time and of course Moon Meander with another cry baby and uh, looking at the team network naman natin lamang nga etong um, oh pantay na pala pantay na ang ating team network sa so, in terms of experience naman lamang lang yung Planet Odd by tw by 2k ayon but medyo kinakabahan na itong EG. I mean, they still have Aegis of Immortal. Meron din haste rune itong si Templar Assassin. So, um, this is a pretty good stuff aside ng EG. Pero yung teamfight dito ng Planet Odd is medyo sumasakit na rin. They have um, Chaotic Offering. Um, and also yung Magic Damage coming from Queen of Pain. Also, Zion, I mean, um, tawag ito, Moon Meander on the backside. Also, a Nyx Assassin doing so much damage dito kay Templar Assassin. So, mas tumatagal, mas gumugusto to para sa Planet Odd. Um, I guess Queen of Pain will be investing for a Shiva's Guard next dahil nga uh, he might be a little bit worried para sa um, physical damage coming from Templar Assassin and maganda rin siyang pang kahit pero Dream Cold sa gitna na pag blink out pa rin itong si Weeha. And unfortunately, they won't be securing any kill doon sa gitna. Moon Meander medyo naispatan yata ng EG pero they still want to make something happen dito sa Aegis of Immortal. And also, meron na expire niya pala itong haste rune ni, um, ni Sumit. And ngayon, kita nyo naman guys, na i-split push ngayon is yung EG. Resolution doing some damage sa tier 3 tower. Though they did secure itong tier 2 tower sa baba, 
mag-rotate na si Universe and of course, out na rin agad dito si Resolution. Kita nyo naman guys, Moon Yander is always on the bottom line, whoever is pit pushing para sa, um, sa side ng Dire or sa Planet Odd. Kasi once, you know, they try to burst any heroes na lagi pit push, at least Moon Yander is there to cancel it out for them to blink out. Kasi what? Templar Assassin, Templar Assassin, um, Queen of Pain and also Anti-Mage has, um, Lagi daw panakas, which is yung blink nga nila. Um, looking at Arteez's item, he will be going for a BKB. Since ayaw niya nga ma-disable and i-handle pa yung mana burn coming from Nyx Assassin. Pero Planet Odd still um, pinagpapatuloy pa rin nila yung pag-pressure dito sa um, bottom lane ng EG. That is why hindi makapag team fight or makapag push ng high ground yung radiant even though yung hook to desire was a perfect connection and a double damage from Sumail will secure a kill dito kay Saksa. Oh, no chaotic offering. Tingnan natin kung anong balak nila dito. Pero guys, kita nyo, this is anti-mage. He is putting um he is putting so much pressure sa mid lane sa bottom lane sa top lane so he is making sure that all lanes are pushed dito sa side na kumbaga sa lane and all lanes para hindi makapag push yung EG sa high ground ng planet odd so ito na si Queen of Pace still in the bottom and he will TP out ayan so si Moon Meander still in the bottom lane, anti mage still farming, still getting still getting stronger. Ayan, tignan natin kung may handle ba nila pero guys na katakot to mamaya tong anti mage na to that is for sure. I mean I guess meron siyang silver edge itong si um, Venomancer so wala siyang um, spell shield mamaya. But still, you know, he could just pop his BKB once you know he's ready to fight pero mukam he will be going for a um, abyssal. Kumaga, one quick burst damage to any hero sa side ng AG. I mean, with a, just one Abyssal Blade, um, tawag ito, plus Manta style, um, kayang-kaya niya ma uh, maku agad itong hero ni um, Universe, which is itong si Puck. So, Radiant, um, no, actually, EG is smoked up, and barely mahuhuli nila doon si Saksa on um, Warlock. So, 25 minutes into the game, I guess medyo wala pa nangyayari sa map natin and um, I feel like Aegis will expire really soon sa side ng Aegis and they will not even put a good use into it. So, sabang wala muna nangyayari, quick item check tayo ulit guys. Item progression sa side ng Aegis. Si Sumail meron siyang Hurricane Pike and Desolator. Si RTZ naman meron na nga siyang Silver Edge. Si Universe already um, getting a gem para masikirin na rin nila yung Vision on their side. Tapos meron din siyang Yule Scepter. Si Zai meron siyang Pipe. And um, Earn. Secret naman already with his hand of my life. Side naman ng Planet Odd. Um, Mystery with the four stats. Si Saksa naman. Still Arcane Boots Resolution. At meron siyang Manta Style. Um, Battle Fury with Skull, Skull Busher. And meron din siyang Vanguard. Going for Abyssal nga next. Tapos naman si Weeha. Meron siyang Yule Scepter. And also, Mystic, mystic Staff na lang. Itong tayo, buo na pala ang kanyang Shiva's Guard. Ayan. Tapos naman si Moon, meron na siyang 4 staff. And going for Agnes next. Yo, pero ito sa top lane si Crystal may denies patang dito ni Misery. And also, easy peasy kill para kay Resolution. Yo, Sedi, shoutout sa'yo. What's up, what's up? Kumustas, kumustas. Ayan guys, another Filipino streamer nga pala natin, si Sedi. Um, if you guys wanna check out his channel, just go to twitch.tv slash sdngtv Support all Filipino streamers uh, Also Secret TV, Twitch Pinoy Twitch.tv slash Twitch Pinoy And also si Ninong Kapag ginalit nyo si Ninong, magpapag-giveaway yun um, That is twitch.tv slash Ninong Mario Ninong Mario, ayan, nakalimutan ko But yeah Pero si Resolution patuloy pa rin sa pag-pressure mukhang EG Talagang they can't handle this split push anymore Kay, kay um, Anti-Mage and ito Pinepressure nila yung bottom lane Pero mukhang they might be a little bit in trouble Cameraman, nasaan ka na? Naligaw ka na Pero si Sumail 
getting killed dito kay Resolution already unstoppable na ang kuya mo and they know that Aegis is no longer on the hand dito kay Templar Assassin and it will be an easy easy kill para kay Anti-Mage Then 27 minutes into the game and I think EG might be a little bit in trouble. Um, medyo mahirap na nga namang hulihin and patayin itong hero ni Resolution. I mean, they tried a couple of ganks, gumaga smoke ganks yanina, but unfortunately, they didn't find anybody on the side of um, Planet Odds. So ito, um, maybe both teams are waiting for the next Roshan or... I don't even know what they're waiting for. Pero mo kang anti mage talaga magpapatangkin na lang ang kuya mo. Um, he will be going for um bagto Ascadi next. Ayon. And yun taka kyu yung item. Pero mo kana bigay nito si RTC with his ultimate his colors. Kani raman nito na finally na two man dream call to magic. Kyotic offering is also popular resolution. The damage was there. Queen of Pain though will fall down. That is a very for a Queen of Pain and they are not done design. Pero si um, Sumail Don, he didn't finish off. Itong si Warlock, pero si Misery taking so much damage dito kay um, Templar Assassin. Pero Resolution is finally, he might be a little bit low dito sa mana. Pero of course, um, medyo nire-respect pa rin nila itong kakayanan ng both teams. So yeah, naging 3-2 ang palitan doon. And looking at fight recap, um, lumumang yung EG with that engagement. They did secure 668 gold and 4600 naman in terms of experience. <laughs> Yo, Kiel, pa shout out po ako yung nilo ako mo na sinami mo di ka kasi. Yo, it's not my fault that you're not familiar. We we were just messing with you. <laughs> so, yeah, 30 minutes into the game and medyo nagi slow natin and both teams are just you know really cautious, you know. Talagang hinihintay nila kung sino yung unang magkakamali for sa um, parehong side. At Ishi, pabati naman po. Salamat from John Rod Roda. Pero sa bottom lane, si Sumail might be a little bit in trouble. Pero nakuha doon ni Nick Assassin. Itong double damage and nasa kanya rin itong gem. Pero sa hook, tapang nga ng force na para pumun ni Ender. Dodging itong hook coming from clockwork but on the other side we have blinking in and everybody else on the side of eg is on the back another four stuff naman para kay clockwork and it looks like there won't be any engagement from both teams and they will go back to farm nice And Roshan will be up in 26 seconds so tignan natin kung sino maka-secure dyan pero eg does have eye to sort of them pit and EG is smoked up. Ayan na. They will try to put a trap. And alam din nila na wala pang ang Roshan. And the quick ditch colors. Nice patan. Alam niya na tatlong heroes up. Napaganang vibe. Silence. And napaganang silence dito kay Saka. On the back side naman. Popping his ultimate coming from Riha. So Universe running really low. He was the first one to go down. Warlock will fall down. Also, the side naman ng Kod. Pero si Temper Assassin na first agad na dito. Nang dire side. And now Zai might be a little bit in trouble. Pet hook. He will secure a kill dito kay Nikki sa atin bago siya makuha dito ni Resolution or ni Wiha Pero he will try to blink out and Jem is on the floor Si other side naman RTC will try to make some move to get out of that engagement And now, um, that is time for Planet Odd to take itong Ages of Immortal dito kay Roshan Napaka ng engagement naman coming from EG I thought it would be a great fight para sa Radiant side just because Nasa island sila right away itong si um, Warlock Pero pasok na pasok yung ultimate dawn Coming from um, Queen of Pain And also na burst nila right away itong ni Universe Which is in itong si Park that, that crippled so much itong lineup Or yung team fight kanina ng AG So ito na mukhang magsisecure ng Aries of Immortal Is itong um, resolution, ayan na, and cheese will be handed dito kay um, Queen of Pain and also nasa kanya rin itong Gem of True Sight, ayan. 
So Resolution is unstoppable. Gives you naman guys, he is nine and zero. Um, EG still has no um comeback or respond adito sa hero nga ni Resolution, which is itong si Anti. Imagine he will blink in to the abyss open. He has no popping his ultimate pero dream caught and trying to turn things up. But of course, meron siyang Ages of Immortal. Kaya um malakas ang loob ng kuya mo. Pero tier two tower might be willing no. Tapag ng frostbite ito kay crit. Pero still. Kita nyo naman guys, the Resolution is only running to half health and with that heal dito kay Sakta, he's gonna be in full health in no time! So ito na guys, wala nang outer tower and EG and Planet Odd still has the Aegis of Immortal. So tignan natin guys kung ano ang next move dito from both teams pero EG medyo humihina na ang kanilang teamfight compared dito sa Planet Odd na nagsisimula pa lang ang kanilang damage. Up, yung hoop will connect dito kay sa range creep and Zai. Up, napag ng classic build. Turn stun, universe with that silence. Napag ng follow up. Plus, another defensive will be sa kay Queen of Wings. He will blink out and anti mage will come back in. Three man to that key off the spring. Yeah, RTZ will pop and use the ultimate, but still Zai will fall down. Freezing field on the side of my guy. Chris, we have tried to blink out and si Tomeo. Medyo nakakay siya dito with this Nyx assassin. And also, dito kay anti mage. It will be a four heroes down on the side of EG and Chris. Will be calling it. Planet Odd will be securing our game to number best of three. And guys, we will have our game three. Juice Coolers. Oh, yo, yo, para sa evil geniuses. And nicely done. Sa side and uh, Planet Odd coming back adito sa game two natin and guys we will have our game three looking at damage output kano yun naman guys yung team um or yung team coordination dito ng Planet Odd is really well done they have 11 damage on Misery they have 10k on Saxa 16k on Resolution and kay we naman 16k then compared dito sa EG and RTZ did most of the damage she has 25 kill and Sumail was just getting carried just because of that next assassin pick. And ito na nga guys, tapos na itong game 2 natin guys. And don't you guys go anywhere, meron pa tayong game 3. So chill muna kayo dyan sa death and I'll be right back.